It was our first business coach that shared with us the importance of being on purpose. He used to say, not only is it important to be on purpose in your personal life, but you've got to be on purpose in your business life. And we call that a mission statement. He said, the best way to do this is get out of the environment that you're in and go away and sharpen the sword, a pinch of phrase from Stephen Covey. So we'd been in business 12 months. I think we were turning over about 60 grand. We were making the massive uh, salary of 100 bucks each a month. And we flew north to Port Douglas, according to the tax office, for 14 days to work on our business plan. And now, people used to laugh at us, uh, friends and mates and all that sort of stuff. You, you know, you hardly even got a business. What are you doing building a business plan? But I, back then, we knew that we needed to be on purpose. And we spent the first few days really trying to nut out what our purpose was. And we knew from our business coach saying to us, it's important. The key to a purpose or a mission statement is to focus on who it is that you serve and how it is that you serve them. And the key is focusing on them, the customer, or in financial services, we call them the client. And so after a few days, we, we nutted out and got it right. And to this day, 20 years later, we've got the same mission statement. And the key with our mission statement is that every single team member in our organization, there's like 70 of us now. Uh, it was easy when there's just two of us, Rob and I, because we knew what to say, but now that there's 70 of us, every single team member is very clear on what our mission statement is, and that is to help our clients achieve their business and personal goals through proactive service and ongoing advice. So when people say to me, Jay, what is it that you do at the practice? I'm crystal clear about we exist to help you achieve your goals, not mine or tax office or anyone else's, but your business and personal goals. And we do that through proactive service and ongoing advice. And pretty much all of our team members could rattle it off word for word. And those that couldn't would know that it's something about helping the customer achieve his or her goals, being proactive and having an ongoing relationship. And when you get a team that are focused on serving the customer, focusing on what it is that they give the customer, you know you're 80% of the way there.